We're now going to begin creating the parts of this gripper assembly in Inventor. I'm just going to move down here to take a look at another um, sheet of these working drawings. And we have several parts here. We have pin 1, pin 2, front lifter arm, base rod. I'm going to begin by modeling pin 1. The pin 1's simply get inserted into this area right here, right in there, keeping the lifter arm connected to this part here. So we're simply going to go into Inventor, simply click on New, and we're going to choose the English Inventor IN inch IPT file. IPT is the Inventor part file, so we simply double click on it or simply single click and then click on OK. We are now in the Inventor sketch mode of our part modeling. We have tools along the top. We have our model browser which allows us to manage and grow and we have some view tools along the side here. If we take a look at this simple pin, it's simply a cylinder and the most simple object that we have is this circle. So we're going to start with drawing a circle with the proper dimensions. So I simply <clears throat> go to my sketch tools by clicking the sketch tab along the top and I choose my circle. I simply click anywhere in the screen and then simply just move my mouse and second click to specify the diameter of the circle. Once I've placed it, I choose the dimension tool from above, single click, click on the circle, drag my dimension out. At this point, if I wish to change the diameter of the circle, I simply just click on the value, and in this case it's 0.13 inches, and I click the green arrow or hit the enter key. And it's now changed the diameter of my circle. I'm finished sketching, so I click on the finish sketch button up at the top, and I now get my 3D tools. But before I, I do any of my 3D work, I'm simply going to my view cube here at the top right hand corner and as I move my mouse over it, little house icon displays, I'm simply going to click on that house icon. Using my pan tool, I can pan, I can rotate, and one of the things I'm going to do is I'm simply going to use my three wheel mouse button, my middle mouse button, and just scroll out. I'm now simply going to use the extrude tool. It automatically finds the circle as the, as the profile. And I'm going to enter the value of 0.75 for my extrusion. I click OK. And I've created my first part. We simply click on the Save button up top. And we will give it a name. Notice it's now saving into our project file gripper that we previously saved. And we'll call it Pin 1.